Hi everyone. Um, today I want to show you um, my project. This is what something that I about to make, and um, this is kind of unusual uh, type of sword that in the old Chinese, um, you know, like a Romantic Kingdom, they have this. They call a double iron mace. Uh, but this time I'm not gonna, you know, iron obviously because this is all wood. I'm going to create a, a double wooden mace and uh, this is the type of weapon it's like um like a whip that you can you can fight with people but this is just uh, a project for fun and uh, i'm gonna use this uh, rod in here for reinforcement inside the big one here is just for the handle and the mace itself gonna be look something like this um they're gonna stack up like this. It's kind of a simple project, but uh, quite cool. Um, I'm gonna paint it afterward and make it look like a little bit like um, I don't know, either like metal or or some iron rod or something like that. Um, at the same time, we'll show you the progress picture of it. Um, so this is all aluminum. Oh, and I got a bunch of plate right here, uh, as well for for this. So, um. You guys gonna see what it turned out, okay? And um, I'm kind of excited with this thing because I'm look around and um, online they don't have a very nice one, and the one that um, that they sell on eBay, you know, ah, doesn't look look good at all, and uh, nobody actually custom this. So I'm gonna try this and see how that goes and uh, roll from there. All right, cool. Okay, I drew two holes here. Um, not quite even, but it um, to to get this uh, particular rod inside to hold to hold it in place. Okay, um, I'm gonna use glue to glue them, and I will glue these four blades together and make it like a disc. Uh, so there will be a lot of sanding gonna happen after the, all this complete. So, so this thing pretty solid now. Just need to make a hole drill here and get a rod through so the idea is that we're gonna have some something like this um with one hand a little bit difficult but get like this something like that okay all right all right cool uh let you guys see what more i can have and this is what happened after I stack uh, all of them, glue them together. Of course, there are a few gaps here and there. Um, all the wood, they're not really make the same. So they're not really the same equal. So I had to sand it down quite a bit. Um, but the idea is to stack them like this, okay? Uh, the bottom here is actually the top of the saw or the maze. And stack them this way. Hi hey everyone, um, this is after I put some plastic wood uh, filler and this is the one that I'm using. Um, so basically this one is going to hide all the connection between the two blocks. Okay? Um, so we can see that look pretty rough right now because I just put it on, um, it looked like clay or something but, but actually uh, it's called wood filler. Okay? So I'm going to sand this thing down and make it smooth um, but after that and then send everything uh, and it will be ready for the handle uh, back there all right so, uh, so I will keep you guys posted on the progress all right hi everyone I want to show you some progress picture so this is after you know um, I put some uh, wood filler in here and sand it down and uh, now it looks like this. And then this is put some uh, spray paint. This is not really a regular spray paint. It is um, epoxy uh, spray paint. So it looks a little bit more shiny here. So um, so I'm not sure what is the, the difference between these, but they're supposed to be more durable and create more smooth surface. Uh, the reason why I'm using this paint is that I want to hide some of the wood uh, imperfection in here and try to eventually this thing gonna turn into like something like a metal rod um so i want to 
make sure it look like metal and uh, this is what it looked like after I put all the wood filler so and I just want to show you the two differences in the color one white because I paint this is un not yet so I'm gonna paint this one the same um, okay all right and uh, we'll update more hi everyone this is the uh, complete uh, maze um, and after that and then you see that uh, I already hooked up the handle and this is uh, just uh, glue it together uh, it had a rod like in the middle but pretty short in the handle but how it looked like after I'm done so I'm gonna paint them um, in like a, uh, maybe the iron color or something like that and I paint a little bit silver here but it looks like this thing is not looking good with silver so I'm gonna make something like uh, more like a metal rod or I don't know a little bit darker uh, metal anyway we'll uh, give you guys some uh, picture afterwards but uh, look pretty simple and kind of cool so it's four feet tall overall actually not four feet but uh, close to four feet okay this is what after I paint um, this thing like um, gun metal and it look like this and then the the handle gonna be gold color so I prime it and get it ready for uh, next color so this is what uh, that so far so when it's done we'll let you say see I probably gonna make it like um you know maybe a little bit faded color or something or maybe silver around here to make it more realistic but this is a iron rod so far look good we'll uh, give more updates hey everyone here is a complete uh, wood maze I'm talking about and um, actually painted and try to make it look like a little bit like metal um, it's supposed to be like iron um, maze or rock you know they, they usually in, go in pair um, they fight uh, in a Chinese martial art um, I don't know anyone using this now but this is gonna look it have a golden uh, handle and all the silver here uh, to um, imitate um, a metal rod um, yep yeah, I mean that's pretty much it they introduce uh, things about four feet uh, long um, so up here up park here is um, 36 or three feet long and uh, the handle is sell around about one feet or a little bit less than that but but almost uh, four feet so um, look pretty cool I mean simple and um, I tried to find these things on eBay, but um, couldn't find anything like this. So I, I decided to make them myself. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, this is what it looks like. It's uh, quite cool. And uh, let's pick it up here. See the, the handle like this. It's, uh, it, um, you know what, it's quite heavy. <laughs> you know what, it's it not gonna be easy to fight this uh, white one hand. You probably need two both hands, but seeing people using both rod at the same time, so they um, they usually, you know, your hand pretty strong to do that. But anyway, that's all. Um, all right, guys, thank you for watching, and please check out my other video for more video. Thank you. Bye bye.